This video is gonna share with you how to be consistent. If you want massive success in your life, if you wanna take massive action every single day, day in and day out, week after week, month after month, year on year, it's gonna come down to consistency. Taking massive action consistently over a long period of time that will compound to the result that you want. This video is gonna go through some tips that I've personally learned since 2015 when we started building our online business where we were able to quit our jobs, move out into a warehouse within 12 months, completely change our lives, and it's all been down to the ability to be consistent every single day. If you've never seen who I am, my name is Kev here from lifesuccessengineer.com. I help people take massive action in their online business and anything that you want, whether it is online business, whether it is um, health and fitness, your exercise, the way you feel, the way you look, your confidence, your belief, whatever it is, it's gonna take consistency. Consistency really is the secret to success because nothing happens overnight. Nothing happens overnight. No, no success, significant success happens overnight. Sometimes, a lot of the times, projects, businesses, relationships, your health and fitness, it takes consistency over a long period of time. So let's get started straight into some tips, okay? So when it comes to consistency, there's a number of things from a, from a, a, a belief point of view, from a psychology point of view, to then a practical point of view, what can you actually do in real life? So from a, from a psychology point of view, right, there's a number of things that really pl play a key part in consistency. If you think of an iceberg, that is, you've seen those images, iceberg, and cons this consistency is the iceberg. Well, underneath the practical, you know, the, the, uh, on top of the, the, underneath the practical side, 80% is the psychology, 20% is the mechanics in real life. But the 80% is when it comes down to belief, you know, having the belief that you're actually working and making progress to something, that is where consistency is, is gonna be key. Because if you don't have the belief that whatever you're doing day in and day out is not actually gonna work, you're gonna stop being consistent. You're gonna stop, okay? You're gonna stop. So belief, that's a big thing. Having a standard that you set upon yourself that you will commit and finish what you start. That commitment, that discipline, finish what you start. So if you're going to have a challenge for 100 days, if you're gonna work out at the gym, or if you're gonna set a goal to build a business that's gonna take you years, you're gonna finish it, you're gonna do it, you're gonna follow through. So it's, it's about having that, um, that standard that you set upon yourself. So you've got belief, you've got that finish what you start. It comes down from to the why you want to do it, okay? Your, the reasons for that, not just from a, you know, I, I have to do this, but it's more of a, it's the pain and pleasure principle. It's what what is the the circumstance, what is the, the consequence, what will happen if you don't do it? What will happen in your life if you don't do it? So if you've got to be consistent building your business day in and day out, well, if you don't, then you might never experience the freedom that you want. You may never experience the lifestyle that you want, the, the options that you want, the opportunity that you want. That's, that's painful and that drives us, that pulls us. There's a difference between push motivation, willpower, you like, okay, I'm gonna do this, to pull motivation. It's now actually like from a spirit point of view, pulling you forward. That comes down to, I've got to live my life this way. I've got to achieve this success. I have to do this because I can't settle for the, what, what else. I can't, settle, I can't live my life like this anymore. So that feeling of pain, what if? What happens if I continue down this way? Um, if I don't change, you know, that's a really, really compelling reason. The same as when you can see okay, I can build my life in this way and I can achieve the ultimate success, the pleasure, not having to think about money anymore, not thinking having, having to think about, can I do this, can I not do this? It, you live life on your own terms. So now you've got this, okay, what's the consequence to what can I do? So you've now got some incredible amount of consistency, like 
a muscle that you're like, I know I'm going to do this. I believe in it. I have to do this and I'm going to make it happen. But that's not all. That's not all because a key component of this is you've got to also have a support network around you. Masterminds and coaches are so important. Having friends that will kick you in the ass if you're not consistent. You know, they say that you're the average of the five closest people to you. And if you've got, let's say you're, you're working out, you're training to, a, to do a half marathon or a marathon or a challenge, and you're training day in and day out, and, and then you have an off day. We all have off days, you know, we're all human. And for that day you say to your friends, do you know what, shall we just go get a pizza instead? Let's go get a, let's have a Chinese instead. Let's stop, let's have a beer, guys. Let, let's, let's go out shopping instead, girls. You know, this type of thing. What they're gonna say, if you've got a great peer group that, that have the standards of, no, we will do it, they're gonna, somebody's gonna kick you in the ass. Somebody's gonna say, no, you're not having that Burger King, that KFC, that McDonald's. You're gonna get your trainers on and you're gonna make it happen. You're gonna get out there. You're gonna, you're gonna take massive action and be consistent. And if you've got that respect, if you've got respect for your peer groups, for what they are, for who they are, to, for their opinion, you're not gonna want to let them down. The same was with a coach. If you've got an external coach that won't, that won't accept your BS, that won't accept your bullshit, your belief systems, then they're gonna call you out on it. They're gonna to say to you, no, no way, you're doing this. You're telling me a story at this point. So that's really important. Having that um, mastermind around you, having that ecosystem around you, it's really, really important from a psychology point of view, from, from the talking point of view, people that you expect in, in your business. Having people in your business that, that need you, that you've got an element of responsibility now, you know, the, you've got your family, you've got your business, you've got people that depend on you, whether that is, you know, your your staff, your virtual assistants, your employees, they, they, they depend on you. You've got to be there for them. You've got to help them. You've got to keep them going, which means that the byproduct of that is incredible consistency, incredible consistency, because if you don't, you know, you're gonna feel a little bit of pain where you're giving money to virtual assistants, your team, your, your systems, you're investing, and you're not getting any return because you're not doing the work. Okay, so that there's a big key when it comes to that as well with your team. You've also, from a, um, a clarity point of view, you've gotta, you gotta work, you gotta work on yourself a little bit. You've got to, you've gotta understand and you gotta, you gotta take a moment to think about what you wanna achieve in your life. You know, from your life point of view, where is it that you wanna be? What do you wanna do? What do you wanna experience? You've gotta do some goal setting. Without goals, what are you working towards? What are you consistent towards? You've gotta have goals. You've gotta, um, you gotta record yourself. You've gotta review yourself. Am I making progress? If you might start to make progress, you start to build momentum. And when you start to build momentum, you, there's, there's no stopping you. You become consistent. You start to build a muscle in terms of, I've got to keep going. I've got to keep following through. I've got to keep making it happen. Okay, so there's, there's all that involved. And then from a, uh, I guess from a, you know, from a practical point of view, now you've got to try making things as easy for you as possible. You've got to limit friction. You know, if things are hard, it's going to be, when things are hard, it's going to be easy not to do things, right? Because me and you, we don't want things that are difficult. Anything that's easy, we can do, right? So if it comes to your health and fitness, um, when it comes to your food, your diet, your exercise, you're going to try preparing, make yourself as easy as you can. So um, think about what you're going to eat for the rest of the week. Can you plan it? Can you uh, can you cook in bulk so you've got it for tomorrow? You've got it for the next day. Can you maybe use a, a, a meal prep service? Um, when it comes to exercise, can you have your um, running gear already ready? Can you have your towel for the gym already ready? Do you do you are you prepared in the morning? 
does that make sense? So you, you're getting up and you're not looking around, stumbling around. Oh, you've not got to a point where you're hungry and now you're just binging because you, you're now eating because you, you've not prepared, right? So that's really, really important. Um, friction, uh, I'll give you an example. This this YouTube video, like I created this, this studio here where I've got my table, I've got my laptop, I've got a camera, I've got the, I've got my light already, I've got, um, you know, I've got the background. It's already set up, which makes recording easy for me. Could you imagine if I had to get my table out, I had to get the light out, I had to get the laptop out, I had to get all these different things ready, it's friction. That prevents consistency, that prevents the ability to take massive action when I wanna take massive action. Right, so you've got to you've got to think about this when it comes to consistency. I think having structure, what you do every day, um, I call it like my perfect day design. Um, what do I do when I wake up? What do I do in the midday? What do I do during the day? What do I do late at night? What is my routine? Think about your morning, your evening, your afternoon routines. Think about that because you've got to plan it. You've got to be proactive on it. Um, you know, that consistency over a long period of time is going to compound to you achieving your goals ultimately, right? So um, there's, I hope there's been a, a number of things I've said at this point that have helped you and supported you. But what I will say is I've got a, a massive action manifesto. This is a free massive action program down below uh, where you've got a PDF, you, you've got the ability to... Um, to look at some videos that I've created, start talking about taking you know massive action from a life point of view, task planning point of view, growth versus maintenance tasks. You know where am I growing? Your strengths. You know what do you want to do? What what don't you like to do? It's you know that eliminate uh, eliminating that friction. It's all in my massive action manifesto. If you want to go in the this link in the description below, check it out. It's completely free. It's going to help you um, uh, just to, to help you become more consistent. Um, I know if you want to if you want to join me on my Instagram page, my Facebook page, I'm always sharing behind the scenes what I'm trying to do to be as consistent as I possibly can. Review myself, share that accountability. You know, when I share my my goals and that accountability, I feel I feel compelled i feel like i've got to stand i've got to i've got to be true i've got to be you know integrity i've got to be congruent to what i'm saying so it builds pressure with me to follow through and take massive action does that make sense so i hope there's been some ideas there for consistency let me know down below by commenting saying what you've potentially learned from this video my name's kev here from lifesuccessengineer.com please smash that like button and if you want any more videos, there's gonna be some videos that pop up right here. My name's Kev, I help you take massive action every single day in your business. Take care, and I'll speak to you in the next video, which is right here. Bye-bye.